To our breaking news story now, Komashu police are investigating a double murder. The bodies of two women were found in the township's P section. They had gunshot wounds to the head. KwaZulu Natal police say the women are in their 20s. Desen Tate are following the story for us. He joins us live. Desen, I know you just got there. What can you tell us? Well, Shahan, the scene is still very active right now. The uh, emotions are running high because the community has gathered just opposite where those bodies are being retrieved. You'll see that there is a mortuary services van that's in a bush now. That is around where those bodies of both those women were found. They believe to be in their 20s, and police tell us that they've been shot in the head. Now, while that's happening, uh, while the police are working on that scene, community members have also gathered here just along the roadside. Now, this is a fairly and it's right next to a clinic as well. So it, one wonders how the, uh, the murderers or the attackers had the opportunity to dump these bodies there. We were engaging with these community members earlier and they were saying to us that some of them are waiting here just to establish exactly who those women are. We, it's not clear yet if there are any missing persons around here um, which could possibly be uh, linked to these victims here. The, the residents that we had spoken to said that police had not engaged with them yet, but just a short while ago, uh, they were informed by officials here uh, that they would have an opportunity, or at least some of them who were concerned would have an opportunity to, identi to identify uh, those, those victims' uh, bodies. I just want to go a little bit closer, obviously not too close, Shahan. This is still a very sensitive uh, crime scene. Uh, let me take you to uh, Ma'am Zitlek Tele is here. You were inside. I understand that you've now informed the community that some yes. of them would have the opportunity to identify yes. the woman. Yes. Were there any concerns of missing persons around here? There is one gentleman who said his sister has been missing. His sister has been missing since Friday. So he's the first one who asked to go and identify. Um, yeah. What do we know? Do we know, if anything, about uh, these victims or how they came to to, to, to be here? No. Um, the police are still investigating, but both women looks like they were raped. Both women were shot at close gun range. So, yeah, it's quite a very sad scene. And it's also, uh, it, it comes just after we heard about that yes. toddler in, yes. in, in M section, uh, which, was all, which was also murdered. Yes, that was murdered on, on, on Thursday. Surely a very difficult time for, very for, for, for women in Komashi. It's very difficult. We, we're just shattered. We are shattered. We don't know. We don't know anymore what to say, what more to do. We, we are just shattered. The call then to police in light of this latest incident? We are, we are requesting police to do their best to find out firstly the identification because it looks like no one knows who they are. Oh, there is a lady who's crying. Maybe she knows who they are. Yeah. Um, but we, we are looking for identification and then we, we are requesting the police to do their best to try and bring the perpetrators. Uh, maybe I can get one of the surgeons to come and talk to you. Sure, we'll chat to them shortly. Thank you so much, Sisi Kale. Uh, Shahan, as you understand, this is still, uh, in, still in its very early stages. As you heard the lady saying, they, they are still trying to establish the identities of these women. Uh, there was a, possibly a man who uh, had a, a, missing, a missing person in his family. He was one of those that was concerned and he's also had the opportunity uh, to look at those bodies. But uh, for now, police are investigating a double murder and uh, those attackers or those that have committed the murder right now at this point are still at large. Yeah, I'll let you gather more information. We'll leave it right there. Desen Tatia is 